Want to launch your own fake news campaign? It's quick, easy and cheap. Here is our how not to guide and tips on how not to fall for the fakes. Imagine we want to start our own disinformation campaign. Here's what we need. First, fabricated content. Second, a platform to disseminate it. And third, people who see it. Social media platforms such as Twitter and Facebook are very useful for this. Extra points to us if we know how their algorithms work so we can make our content more visible. Creating false information is easy. It must resemble real information to confuse people. That is the reason why websites that disseminate fabricated content look real. They are inspired by real and trustworthy online media platforms. One example is the Denver Guardian. This is the news site that spread fake news against Hillary Clinton in 2016 during the US presidential race. Its website looked like a real newspaper. The layout and even the language and the way stories were narrated all seemed real. Fortunately, the website is no longer operative, but others have followed it in its wake. Disinformation campaigns need people to visit specific web pages. Here is where social media comes in. By the end of 2019, Facebook had 2.5 billion active users. That is practically one third of the world's population, or more than three times the population of Europe. Social media platforms are a window to the world. They connect people regardless of their geographical location and encourage them to share. An algorithm classifies the content to enable mass consumption. Facebook and Twitter allow users to make their posts more visible by paying the companies to advertise them. Moreover, the algorithms favor popular content. The more people click, like, comment, and share you this information post, the more likely it is to reach even more people. Why do disinformation campaigns succeed? First, let's talk money. Disinformation campaigns are cheap. Buying a domain or advertising a post is not expensive at all. Creating content requires not a single euro, only thought and time, and not as much as you may think. People tend to read no more than 500 words. There are online tools facilitating the whole process. Just Google create fake news. This image took me no more than 30 seconds to create and it looks legit, doesn't it? Now it is ready to be shared, which takes us to the next step, speed. News travel really, really fast in cyberspace. Remember the filter bubble? One of the reasons is how easily it finds an audience. Personalization algorithms help in. Another is the fact that communication in cyberspace is instantaneous. Add to that the amount of time people spend online checking in their inboxes and news feeds, and you get the picture. If false content seems real, how can we defend ourselves against this information? Go to the source, check the author, and check the web page. Have you heard from the source before? Look for the same piece in other trustworthy media platforms. Never share if you're not sure that the content is real and try to leave your emotions aside. They are the main target. Following these steps will take us some way towards detecting fake news. There is a whole army of trolls and bots out there. Tune in next time to discover what exactly we are up against. Subscribe and hit the bell button to be the first one to know when our next episode is out. Hasta pronto.